Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Today on the Little Info episode, we are going to be talking about the largest flying reptile, the prehistoric Quetzalcoatlus. You guys may have seen Quetzalcoatlus recently in Jurassic World Dominion or in some paleo documentaries. Either way, this prehistoric creature is making the rounds, even in Primitive War, the book series as well, making the rounds and really, really an iconic creature. But let's dive into the facts, shall we? Species name is Quetzalcoatlus Northropi. And it actually derives from the late Cretaceous. It is a member of the Asdarki family, which is a family of toothless pterosaurs with long, stiffened necks. It was also discovered in Texas of 1971 by Douglas A. Lawson. So Quetzalcoatlus has been around for a very long time, but it's just now getting in the, in the media. Named after the Aztec feather god Quetzalcoatl, there is actually a genus of smaller species of Quetzalcoatl, which is the or Quetzalcoatlus, which is the Quetzalcoatlus lawsoni. So many Quetz, ton twisters. Quetzalcoatlus had a wingspan of 36 to 39 feet, and Lawson actually had a wingspan of 16 feet. Quetzalcoatlus did not have teeth, of course, it's in the name, but it actually just had a very long, sharp, pointed beak. And that gets into the food. It was actually thought to have fed on small dinosaurs and creatures such as, like a stork does in modern day times, instead of a fish-only diet. But the debate on this went on for many, many years. In recent studies, and I do mean recent, it shows that Quetzalcoatlus was a powerful flyer due to a large breast bone and that would actually cause it to be able to, when it launched from the ground into the air it would actually rate that launching would be eight feet high quetzalcoatlus 2 it is theorized that it could actually bend its wings uh due to them being kind of like a finger almost in a way at certain spots in the wing so it could actually bend it and be able to walk on the ground and that is some quick little facts about the largest flying creature to ever have been on the earth atmosphere the quetzalcoatlus if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more paleo content video games and other nerdy things and of of course, remember folks, science is real.